They say it takes three seconds to form a first impression. So your first impression of me is probably who sold an autistic kid a microphone. I'm going to ask you to ignore that first impression, and let's go with my normal intro. What's up, you raunchy fuckers? I am the Raunchy Ranter. And we got some War Thunder gameplay. This is a really cool game, actually. It's an open beta, and basically you just fly around in planes and shoot things. Um, it's a lot more complex than that, but this is not a gameplay video about the game. Um, so you can just look up other videos, or just go download the game yourself. You can just Google War Thunder. Um, as of right now, it's an open beta, so it's um, free download, really fun. Um, I've had a lot of a lot of fun playing this. Um, but basically, I am a phaser director now. And it's, uh, the, the directorships, let me tell you, the directorships, I've been on YouTube for like two years on and off. I've been doing this for so long, way too long, on different channels, whatever. Um, and there used to be directorship channels like this one, but they were a lot different. They've, I think all the director channels in general have evolved a ton from what they used to be. Um, now they're a lot more professional and... I hate to say this, but they're not so much about the community anymore, which I think is a good thing. Um, that sounds really bad, but it's not so much about how many views the the channel has and stuff like that. Even though that's still somewhat important, it's not so focused on how many how many views the channel gets, how many subscribers it gets, um, because what it used to be was like. Hey, you have to put us in your sub box and subscribe to us and like us on all our social media in order to be a director. And that kind of defeats the purpose because if I'm, you know, I'm probably not going to, if I want to be a director and I subscribe just to be a director, I'm probably not going to watch it because that just defeats the purpose of subscribing. They want you to subscribe on Phaser and most directorship channels, but it's not nearly as, um, oh gosh, how do I put this? It's not nearly as focused on all of that, you know, the subscriber amount, and so, you know, they used to just be a ton of inactive viewers, it was really unprofessional, the way they were run, um, and it was just a big mess, and now it's, it's a lot more professional, I was very impressed when I saw Phaser, and that's part of the reason why I chose them, I think they have a lot of potential, the directors have potential, um, the intro and website design and all that, I love the way it was put together, I was very impressed, uh, that, a smaller network had, you know, great quality. But I'm not just going to kiss the ass during this video. I want to talk a little bit about my plans for Phaser and just what I do personally. And then I'm just going to talk about me as a person. It's only 10 minutes. This is a short commentary for me. I usually do 20 minutes, but I figure, hey, I don't want to oversaturate on my very first one. And speaking of oversaturating, um, that goes in very well with what I'm talking about next. Wow. Fucking coincidence there. Uh, I... When you first get on Phaser, or any network really, they want you to upload about usually like one a week to their channel. Um, unless it's like Machinima and they have so many fucking directors that it's just you don't need to do that much. But on the networks that actually have to like make an effort nowadays, because Machinima doesn't really have to as much. Um, the people that... Okay, I don't want to say that. There, there's less people involved now, so there's more effort needed for each person. Um, and so, the majority of directorship channels want you to upload once a week. And they they want me to do that. And I, I told them, I said, you know what, I, I kind of want to do something more like once every two weeks, maybe. Because I, I don't want to be the guy that's just, like, really oversaturates and really... The guy you see every single day who uploads and like, I don't want to see him every day. Why is he always on this channel? Um, I don't want to be the spotlight. I don't want to be the guy that you dread to watch. I just want to be the guy that kind of appears here and there. Um, kind of, you know, just appears here and there. And you're just going to like, oh, it's just it's this guy. That was a bullcrap crash, by the way. Shouldn't have crashed. Whenever I crash in this game, I get mad because it's like I'm looking straight up and the plane is damaged, but in, he won't go where I tell him to. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I, I, I don't want to be the guy that's, you know, oversaturating, I just want to be the guy that appears here and there, and you're just going, oh, it's, it's him again, he's not great, he's a little bit weird, but I'll watch him, I want to be that guy, 
Um, so I worked that out. It's I'm gonna do once every two weeks, about. Um, I'm not gonna upload playthroughs. I do upload playthroughs on my channel all the time. I'm doing like two right now, I think. I don't even know how many playthroughs I'm doing. Well, it's it's really it's really confusing. I don't really want to go into it because I don't have time in this video. But um, basically, I have two playthroughs. Um, kind of confu a confusing situation to explain. But I'm not gonna upload any of those playthroughs to Phaser. The only time I'm gonna upload it to Phaser is after commentary like this. Maybe the occasional live commentary if it's like a comedy type thing. But it's usually just going to be after commentary talking about certain subjects that, for some reason, I think are entertaining. You know, whatever dumbass reason that might be. Um, and I do that enough on my channel, too. I upload one video every day. It's almost always one video every day. Um, and it's usually towards the evening. I usually like do it 3 or 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's usually what I do, but that's not always the case. Um... And even if I'm, like, sick or something, or don't have time, I usually am able to upload since I have a backlog of videos. Um, unless I go on vacation, don't have access to a computer, you can almost always count on one video a day. Um, those are usually playthroughs, and then, like I said, once a week on my channel, I might do a commentary, after commentary like this. And then once every two weeks, I might do one for Phaser. I'm not going to upload, like, a video to my channel and Phaser, or to Phaser and my channel. I'm... The, the videos on Phaser you're going to see are exclusive to Phaser, and videos you see on my channel are exclusive to my channel. So, And that's what I want it to be. I want it to be like, um, you know, you don't see this video, then go on my channel, and it's the exact same video. I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, you'll see me do the occasional after commentary. I, I do a lot of FPS games. Um, I don't play COD. Uh, I just don't COD. You will never see me upload COD ever. Um, don't start a big ass debate down below I just it's personal preference preference I don't really have have an argument other than I just don't like the game I don't like the series I used to but I don't anymore for reasons that I don't really want to go into again because it's not what the video is about um so yeah I I upload games um you know ranging it, it's really a big variety and that's kind of the way I want it because ever since I was a kid I've been playing a game, uh, a lot of games, a lot of different types of games. Um, it's amazing my evolution as a gamer. You know what types of games I've played. Um, everything from Mario and Pokemon to, you know, modern FPSs to MOBAs, to MMOs, and I like to upload all that stuff. Not really Mario and Pokemon, but I like to upload all that stuff. Um, because I feel like a lot of a lot of gamers aren't so one dimensional that they just like one type of game, you know. They they like a lot of different types and or at least that's how I am. Um so yeah, that's about me, my channel. Or I covered me and Phaser and my channel. And now I'm gonna talk a, a tiny bit about myself. Um I'm just I'm I'm a normal kid. I'm a seventeen year old boy and I like I love gaming so much. Um, I like talking a lot too, because I, I tend to bitch a lot, as you can probably tell from my name. I, I rant all the time um, about stupid shit. I'm a negative person. If you don't like that, sorry, I'm not changing my personality for you. Um, that's not me on my high horse. That's just saying, like, if you if you don't like people bitching, don't come to my channel because that's pretty much I all I do in games is I just tend to complain. Um, but yeah, I, I've like I said, I've had a huge evolution of gaming for me. It's been, it's been really, like ever since I've had memories. Ever, like I, I, there was not one time where I've had memories and I wasn't playing games. Every time I've been conscious or whatever you want to call it as a person, I remember playing games. Uh, now I'm running out of time here, so let me say really quickly my two favorite games of all time, and this is still me as a person. Um, Number one, uh, Star Wars Star Wars Battlefront for PS2. Um, I would not play that game today because um, it's not nearly as good as the ones um, that are out there today. But I like it because it really got me into a different genre of gaming, like kind of shooting games. And the other one is Battlefield 1942. I hate my memories with this game. I took it way too seriously. Uh, you know, I rage at the top of my lungs every day. Was never satisfied by the way I played, even though I was a little bit too good for my age. I was really young. 
Um, and I hate my memories, but I'm I'm kind of glad I did it because it got me into the mindset of being competitive, and I think that's important now because it kind of shows off my ability in games. Um, so you know, I'll, I'll probably never upload games of either of those. You know, not even just for remembering the good old days or whatever, bringing back memories. I don't want to because I feel like that'd just be a bad experience. So, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. And oh, over everything, be sure to stay raunchy, my friends.